Good morning. My name is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God. And today we're continuing our series on bringing revival to America, your country, your community. And we're going over things that are, I share in my book. Feed my people joy, kingdom living for end times. And it's all about bringing the joy of the Lord, uh, knowing the joy of your Lord, uh, <laughs> knowing the joy of the Lord because you know who you are in Christ Jesus. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. It's all about righteousness, peace, and joy and the Holy Spirit because this kingdom, the message of this kingdom will be preached, then the end will come. And so I'm preaching and sharing the message of the kingdom. Um, and we're, this is part two on the kingdom, two kingdoms on the earth. There's two kingdoms on the earth, um, God's kingdom and Satan's kingdom. <clears throat> and we went over that in number, in uh, tape number one. <clears throat> and you can see that in Matthew 6, 24 and 25. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate one and love the other, or else he will hold, the one, hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and manum, manum. <clears throat> the world system is set up on money, and that's why the world system, excuse me, <clears throat> that's why the world system is failing. It is built up on manna, buying and selling. God's system is set up on sowing and reaping. Two different systems. Okay, now the kingdom belongs to God. The kingdom of God is God's dominion, authority, and rule in you. And the kingdom of God is in you in power, and it's God's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. He put us on the earth to have authority and subdue take back his kingdom. Um, we are to enforce God's will. It, the, Jesus taught us to pray, your kingdom come, you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The kingdom has come in us. Jesus said the kingdom has come. The time has been fulfilled. The kingdom is here now. <clears throat> so the kingdom is now in us. And Matthew eleven twelve says, and from the day of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffered its violence and the violence take it by force. In other words, we are supposed to take by force everything that the devil has stolen from us. God created the earth and gave it to man, told us to have authority and dominion. Satan came, deceived Adam and Eve, stole all their authority and dominion, and is now God of this earth. And his system is running this earth, and that's why it's all failing now. Okay, and we are to take back that kingdom and bring it into the kingdom of God for God. Now, he sent Jesus to earth to, to, to live a sin-free life, to pay the price for our sins, to die on the cross, to go to hell uh, for us, to be beat up by the devil, then he turned around after paying our price, legally made a judgment against him, and enforced this judgment by raising from the dead and setting people free from sickness, disease, poverty, lack, and fear. And he raised, he, he went up to heaven, poured his blood on the mercy seat of God, therefore completing all of the penalty for our, sickness, for our um, sin, for our treason, for our rebellion. And then he sent down the Holy Spirit as his representative to live inside us, to empower us, to... Um, uh, cause us to live exactly like he did on the earth because he was filled with the Holy Spirit and power. And now that Holy, same Holy Spirit lives in us and we're like God's taxi driver. He's the Holy Spirit living in us and we go wherever he wants to take us and he empowers and fills us to do his will. Okay, that was a quick summary of salvation. Um, okay, and John 16, 11 talks about how the ruler of this world is judged, mean, meaning Satan is the ruler of this world. Um, Romans 14, 17 says, For the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. And that's what I was talking about a while ago. Now, as a king on this earth, we are a king, and I'll go over that in another chapter. But as a king on this earth, it's our duty to take back everything that God gave us in the Garden of Eden. And that's what God's will is. Um, God, let's see, the kingdom is man's king. The earth is man's kingdom given to us by God, and we're to expand God's kingdom on all the earth until the time of the rapture. And the time of the rapture actually depends upon us when the gospel of the kingdom starts being applied, when we start doing what the what Jesus did. Um, he said, well, he preached, if I cast out demons by the kingdom of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you, or cast out demons by the finger of God, the kingdom of God has come upon you, and if I, and he says, heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out demons. In other words, the kingdom of God is power and action, not sitting on the pew, or not just having godly character, which was making right choices, doing the right thing, uh, being holy and pure, but it's more than that, it's also power. And we've done a pretty good job of, you know, repenting of our sins, and, and, and trying to be holy by right actions, 
Um, but now we have to step into our righteousness and, um, and start, when we know who we are in Christ, when we know we are righteous, then we can walk in power and authority and dominion. And that scripture is Matthew 24, 14, that says, And the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached, and all the world is a witness, and the end shall come. Now, for this gospel, you are an ambassador to the kingdom. But I think that's going to be it for today, because I think I am running out of time. And tomorrow, we'll go over you being an ambassador for the kingdom. And, um, wow, that's quite a lot of stuff we still have to go over. Okay, well, that's it for today. My name is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God.